So we built a global joint server. And the global joint server allows for activating devices on any LoRaWAN network uh, running anywhere in the world on any deployment model. So it works on the Things Network, Community Network. It, runs, it works uh, on a cloud-hosted solution that we provide commercially. But also, if you use a network server that's built and operated uh, not by us or not even using our technology, but using any of the LoRaWAN standard backend interfaces, it still works. And we build an ecosystem with all these device makers. And that is really the key thing here. Uh, this is not last year. We only had this small chip to show you. Uh, this year, we are showing you that all these device makers are onboarding their devices on our global joint server, uh, and that they, can be, uh, that they are already provisioned. There is no more sending keys by email in Excel files or printing them on stickers on the boxes. The keys are already there in a secure place. That is for pre-provisioning the keys. Then one step further is having a hardware secure module in the device uh, where the root keys are provisioned. And these, the, the difference here is that if you have this hardware um, secure module in the end device, nobody can read the keys because it is physically protected against tampering. And we are, so last year, we launched a solution with Microchip. And now we are happy to announce that also SD, Trusted Objects, and Cypress uh, are joining in this effort and that they are building LoRaWAN pre-proficient secure elements to the market because we think also that diversity is really good 